How's it going, YouTube? This is you, the fragrant one, bringing you my scent of the year choice for 2014. Now, this is uh, spurred off uh, technically from John Stagg off of Facebook, but my uh, Dan, my maker's mesh, did a video based on it, and I said I would make a response in my own video. So here it is. Now, there was a couple that I was thinking about, but the one that absolutely I fell in love with the moment I smelled it and the moment that moment I knew I had to have in my collection it's no other than this one Coromandel by Chanel this is amazing stuff and once I run out of this bottle I will be upgrading to a full on humongous bottle because it's worth it it's uh, so different from anything I've ever smelled the patchouli in here is airy but you know it's there, it has a patchouli smell, but it's mixed with that chalk, the white chocolate, and it's just masterfully blended. And even though you would think with those notes it'd be heavy, it's just not heavy at all. It's very airy, but it's there, and it projects. It, it'll keep a scent bubble around you. This stuff is just phenomenal. And if you love patchouli, if you like, uh, fragrances that are a different take on a note I have no choice but to say check out Cora Mandel if you have not it's there's a reason why this is so big in the fragrance community and when I first smelled it I was blown away and that's the only fragrance that has done that for me now for a runner-up I would say Mousse Gravageur by Frédéric Mal because even though it took me a while to get used to it that ended up becoming one of my favorites as well but I have to give it to Cora Mandel. There's no way. It. <laughs> I can't believe a phrase could do that to me, but this one was the one. And that's all I got for you guys. And I hope you like the scent of the year of my choice. And what's your scent of the year? And if not, make a video about it, just like I did. And I hope you guys have a great day and a happy new year.